We hear a lot of people in the media talk uh, about this program turning the corner. Uh, was there a corner to be turned, and, and has this program turned it, in, in your opinion? Well, I, I think what was important for us is we needed to get our program healthy in every way. Um, we needed to graduate our players. You know, we had a graduation rate that was unacceptable, and, and we've, we've gotten that thing um, in much better shape. We've graduated every senior uh, over the last six years. Um, so we've, we've fixed that for it. We, we needed to make our team competitive in the league again. Uh, and that's, uh, I think that was critically important for us to become, you know, consistently competitive in the SEC. And we just finished the, the last three years with the greatest win total, the greatest three-year win total in, in, in our school's history in the league. So we think we have that part, uh, you know, in, in healthier shape. And we have good young players, and we're adding a really good recruiting class. And so we think that's healthy. So I think, um, have we turned the corner? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think what we've done is we've made our program healthy. And now that we're healthy, uh, just like an athlete, it's time to, you know, uh, you know push the throttle down and, and, uh, and, and see how far ahead we can get. There are some good players coming back. Uh, you mentioned the uh, the incoming recruiting class. You lose two key players, though, that were uh, very close to the program. They gave a lot of a lot of uh, sweat, a lot of blood over the last few years. And Marcus Thornton and uh, Nimi Jurisic. How do you replace those guys? Well, we do lose two two great young men. Both will leave uh, with degrees, um, and and both were outstanding players. And and, and they were guys. Uh, I think the advantage that we have now is that when Marcus and Nimi came into our program, it was Nemi came in right when, when all the guys left early for the NBA. And he was thrust into a starting role as a freshman when physically he wasn't really ready. And so everyone got to see him kind of grow up and mature uh, in, in front of every, everyone's eyes and Marcus the same way. And they were very productive players. Uh, the advantage that we have is that, is that Yante Maiden last year as a freshman, uh, outside of being hit by the car, uh, he, was, uh, he was able to learn from two proven winners. Uh, guys who won in the classroom and on the court, and and that's going to make life easier for Yante as a sophomore because he saw two great examples every day his freshman year. We are going to be young up front uh, next year uh, with with Derek Obedi and, and Mike Edwards coming in uh, as freshmen, but uh, I think that we have a depth uh, to our roster now that, that we haven't had for quite some time.